Welcome back, guys. In this video, we're going to be talking about modifiers, right? So let's go ahead and get started with this. Let me just close this out, close out all this. Close and close. I'm just going to create another package. Right, and then this modifiers. and finish so in this modifiers right let's talk about a few things so let's first create a i'm going to first create a file okay let's just call it modifiers and finish right this is just a text document that we're creating <clears throat> So there are a few different, right? There are access modifiers. There are access modifiers, right? Which basically controls the access level. And then there are non-access modifiers, which do not control access level, but uh, provides other functionality. Okay. Now, within the access modifiers, so let's just go one by one. Uh, mod within access modifiers, right? You have class level, and then obviously you have other attributes, methods, constructors, and whatnot. So within the access access modifiers, um, right? Within access modifiers, you have let's say for. <clears throat> Uh, for classes, you can either use public or default, okay? Now, what is a public and what is a default? Now, public is Basically, when the class when the class have access or is accessible by other classes, right, um, can be accessible by other class. And default default classes they can be access they are accessible by other classes in the same package. Okay, this is used when you don't want to specify a modifier. And again, we will be talking about this uh, later on, um, later on what that means. So let's just put down the definition so you guys have this. And again, this lesson is not so much hands-on because this is this is this lesson is there, so you we can use this thing for future lectures. So default, right? Um, class. <clears throat> is only accessible by classes in the same same package okay so what does this mean is that let's say i have something in the constructor right so having this default i can i can use it only within the same package i cannot use it in the intro java whereas in public if I, I can switch, I don't have to be in the constructor package only. I don't have to be in the intro to Java package only. I can actually switch around. Uh, switch around meaning I can access anything from anywhere. Um, that's the difference between public and default, right? And then, so this is for the public classes, right? For public classes, for classes, um, you can either, uh, you can we can use it either as a public or a default. And within that, within the access modifiers, we also have, let's say for attributes, for attributes, for methods, 
and constructors for attributes, methods, and constructors, we can use public, uh, private, default, protected, okay? Okay. So, yeah, let's just go through this one by one. So again, over here for public, um, the, the code itself, code is accessible for all, all classes, okay? For private, um, the code is accessible only within the declared class. So basically, <clears throat> um, basically that means, let's say I have my package, right? And if I have something in array loop.java, if I, if I have something that says private, it can be declared only within there. I cannot have access to that anywhere else. I cannot, I, I will, using it in array.java, it will not have access to the other class. That's what basically private is. Again, we're going to go over all these things uh, later on. Uh, and then there's default, right? And for this one, code is uh, accessible only in the same package, okay? Default. Code is accessible only in the same package, okay? Just keep it at that. And then we also have the word protected. Um, this is the code is accessible. Uh, code is accessible in the same package and subclasses. Again, we are going to learn more about subclass, superclass uh, later on whenever we talk about inheritance. Um, okay. So, yeah. So, these are all everything about the access modifiers. Now, we also have non-access modifiers as we talked about before, right? So, this is only access modifiers. Within access modifiers for classes, we have public and default. For the classes, we can use only pub uh, public or default. Okay. Uh, and then, you know, this is what public and this is what default is. And for attributes, methods, and constructor, we can use one of the following, which is right here. We can use public, private, default, or protected. And then for non-access modifiers, okay, for non-access modifiers, okay, we have we can for not for classes, okay, for class, for for classes, I guess we can use either final or abstract keyword. Okay, those are the modifiers. So keyword meaning those are the modifiers basically. So what does those mean? Right, we have the final and then abstract. So within final, the, 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 the final, what this means is the class cannot be inherited, it cannot be inherited by other classes, okay? Final is class cannot be inherited by other classes, okay? Again, we will talk about what this specific inherited, what this inherit keyword means in the inheritance, uh, whenever we discuss the inheritance. 
And then abstract, abstract you, the, the class cannot be used to create objects, okay? To, to access an abstract class, it must be inherited from another class. Again, whenever we talk about inheritance and abstraction, uh, we, we will be discussing about that abstract keyword, okay? So in this, class cannot be used to create object. Okay, in order to access an abstract class, it must be inherited from another class. Let me just put this. Below, right there. Okay, so within this, right, we also have attributes and methods, right, for the non access modifiers. So we also have attributes and methods, right? For attributes and methods, um, we can use certain keywords, which are final, static, abstract. Um, there are also a few other ones. Um, they're not as important as of now, I would say. Um, so there's transient, synchronized, and a volatile. Um, I don't think we have to worry about that for now. So I don't want to get into those right now, but I'll just put this here for now, but we're not going to talk about it. Um, transient, uh, sin, S Y N C H, or synchronized and volatile, but we're not going to be talking about this three. Um, we're not going to be talking about this three for now. So over here, we have the keyword, we have the uh, modifier final, right? And then static. We did talk about a static uh, a couple of chapters, a couple of lessons before, but we will talk about it quickly over here as well. So for this final, right? But this, what is final? Final is that attributes and methods cannot be overwritten uh, or modified, okay? Attributes and methods cannot be overwritten or modified. Okay. Static. Static is basically attributes and methods belongs to the class rather than the object itself. Okay. So I'm just going to copy it over here. So I can methods belongs to the class rather than the object, okay? So what does this mean is, um, you know how usually if we have, let's say, if we go to here, so we have this public class, my constructor, if we put something here, right? If we put uh, static, static and age, something like that. So this specific keyword is static. So it belongs to the class itself. Okay, it belongs to the class. It, it, is not belong, it does not belong to a specific method only. Okay, that's basically what this means. Um, but again, like I said, you know, we'll, we'll go over all these things uh, later on as well. And then we have the abstract keyword. Abstract can be used only in an abstract class, right? And can be used only uh, on methods. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Can be used, can be used in an abstract class and can only be used in methods. The method does not have a body. Right. For example, if you could have abstract void, 
uh, abstract void uh, working out or something. Uh, you know, whatever, whatever the whatever the method name you're gonna put in there. Abstract void food doesn't really matter. The body is provided by the subclass where we inherit this from. Again, we're gonna learn more about this in the inheritance abstraction. Um, uh, whenever we, we talk about that, okay. Um, can be used only in an abstract class, oops, and can be used only, only in methods, okay? Um, not cab. Can. Um, the method does not have a body the body is provided by the subclass The subclass which we which is inherited. Okay, so I know this is a lot of stuff we just talked about. Um, Okay, uh, I know this is a lot of things that we just talked about. Um, so I'll just leave it over here for now. For the access modifier, just remember for the classes, whenever we're creating classes, uh, for that one, for the access modifiers, we are gonna have public or default. And within that, um, for all the attributes, methods, and constructors, we can have public, private, default, and protected. Right, and all the definitions are over here. For non access modifiers, we can, for the classes, we can have either final or we can have abstract. And and then other than the classes, we can have attribution attributes and we can have methods. And for those, we can have final, static, abstract. This is the main ones that we talked about on here. But other than that, we also have transient, synchronized, and volatile. Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep it uh, keep this lesson over here for now, and then as we discuss more about the, um, as we discuss if as we go more further on, you know, we'll be discussing more about all these different uh, access modifiers and non access modifiers that we have access to. Cool, that's it for this lesson, guys. If this was helpful, please do comment, please do like, subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good one.